What's going on with Llama 4? I, I think that things have definitely been lining up kind of to follow what you saw in my testing that I did on this channel, where we saw an eight of 10 score from Llama 4, surprisingly low, and that was on the general chat. And we also saw a really just not stellar five of 10 on the vision test. So that, that was absolutely not something I expected. And especially since we have such a large context window and Llama 4 is being built as a great way to get into markets that are looking for especially that long context window where people don't want to pay a lot of money necessarily for full rag implementations and proper implementations, but just want to throw everything into the actual chat. The quality at five of 10 is, in my opinion, too low for that. I think you're going to actually have significant problems if you try to achieve that. And so Vigabor441 is somebody I've been following. And this person is, um, so uh, there was some other things that came out. So I wanted to address this one first. Did Llama4 train in benchmark questions and answers to benchmarks, essentially their scores? That was something that was said, uh, rumor, rumor, rumor. And that got a lot of attention yesterday, and it looks like it did not based upon what Vigabor441 said. Now, how, why do I believe Vigabor441 is a good question first? So on April 3rd, before the model released, the dust is settling next week to models with reason or variance and base models. 17B active, 109, of course, that is Scout, and also 400B, that is Maverick. So they did drop information that indicates they had information ahead of time on the specific. They come out, they refute it. They say, this is not true. There are indeed issues with Llama 4 from both the partner side. Inference partners barely had time to prep. And it does actually seem like inference partners probably did not have very much time to prep because there was still ongoing work on so much of what was uh, being released out there. We sent out a few transformer wheels, uh, VLLM wheels, uh, mere days before release and, and the model side but there was no such training on test set. So that that's good to hear. I did actually reply back to them and say, why up it from Monday to Saturday and slap your time to tie up loose ends. So on the model card, you can actually see they changed it from a launch today on Monday the 7th to Saturday the 5th. Now, in a traditional media sense, a Friday thing is when you launch news you want to bury. That's an interesting thing you've got to think about in a lot of context from traditional media. Things that launch on Friday get forgot by the next week's news cycle. Monday is the hype cycle that you really want to ride. That is the traditional hype cycle also in what we see with AI. It's like actually insanely the hype cycle we see. It peaks in Wednesday, it goes down to Friday, and it starts climbing up on Monday. It's like a perfect curve every single week. If you are looking at the analytics and you're a YouTube creator in AI, you can definitely see this correlation. So I, I thought it was very weird that a Saturday thing happened. Not only did I think it was very weird, a lot of much smarter people than I am thought it was very weird also. And so this person comes back and say that says, hey, I think there was a bunch of theories. To be honest, I wasn't privy to the real reasons either. Was caught off guard. Probably a combination of the stock market, which I don't necessarily think that it's a, a wise idea to time your stock information to your model release information if it means you're going to release something that's bad. I think that is a horrible decision. You should never ship uh, something that has functionality problems and impairments. That seems very, very questionable. Uh, it could happen, though and the upcoming models from Quinn and others. So Quinn 3 is imminent, and I'm going to show you today Quinn 3 is imminent, and it's going to be really probably pretty good, and it's going to be for you, the GPU poor, especially if you have not a lot of VRAM. It's going to be a good mixture of experts also. So I, I, I let him know, you know, a little bit, hey, keep cooking, we need a good Llama 4. We really do. We really do need a good Llama 4. So if there are implementation things that can be fixed, hopefully they do get fixed here in short order. And like, I, I, I got a lot of comments from people uh, specifically on this. So I would say about half of the audience that applied got denied. Half of the audience got approved. It does appear to be just completely random sampling, which is bizarre and baffling, to be honest with you. I think that's a, a way, weird way to go about things. Even in the community uh, interactions over here, some people were saying, hey, I am a uh, llama researcher on the core team and I'm being denied. So there is possibly some pretty big issues with whatever's happening on their approval and denial side. I really don't take it personally, but I think it's all some weird theater that doesn't need to happen either. Let me explain. Everything that they want you to agree to, drop it in a file, put it in the folder, you agree to it if you're using it. That's like, that. that is true. So they none of this is more than performative theater at any rate. And gating it is gonna have the wrong impact and it's going to definitely slow down adoption 
one of the best things that I've read on this so far, and I'm going to link this in the comments or the description below. Take, take a chance to read this. This is actually from Nathan Lambert. Really good read. And especially it's weird. I mean, on the surface, this should be like one of the best things that we've ever seen. And I mean, honestly, it should be one of the best things we've ever seen. So something being broken in an implementation is insanely possible. And we've seen that happen a lot of times. And we're, I'll catch you up with where we're at on this in particular, on some of the progress that's happening. It still is under work with a couple of the providers out there. So there, there's going to be more and more support happening and better and better implementations, especially apparently around the context window and memory management side. Huge context windows, something that's kind of new for a lot of the uh, implementations out there. When you're looking at the uh, architecture of this and how we see this evolution of the llama set of families this is actually what i would almost feel like a step backwards from llama 3. now it's still great that an open source us company is putting out actually true open weights and stuff like that and you'll be able to train fine tune that's awesome but at the same time there, there were a lot of really weird misses. And so those weird misses could be explained by rushing a product that wasn't quite ready. And I mean, hitting the deadline of today would also probably have been a lot of work also for them. Quinn 3 and Quinn 3 MOE, which I, I'm very excited for this. And this is definitely happening. And you can see now that they've got merge status so this is imminent in vllm so this is going to be coming out very very soon and every time i've hit refresh on here and on especially llama.c++ there's new work that's being added and new things that are being done so this is very very imminent in my opinion we're going to see this hopefully in the next day or two i would not be at all surprised to see a video out from me on this very soon and i should be able to because they won't token gate and do some weird stuff with their repo i should be able to actually run this right off the bat for you guys, which is great. And I love doing that. And that is kind of one of the reasons this channel exists. Go ahead and look at the commit that was merged in here. You can see that we've got Quinn three for casual. That is going to be an eight B variant. I think a lot of people are happy to see yet another uh, small model come out here. And then we've got, in my opinion, the really, really exciting one, which is going to be Quinn three MOE. And that's going to have 2 billion active parameters on a 15B base. So that is great. This is actually really cool because we're going to have a small MOE that can run on a single GPU, hopefully with a large context window. I'm not sure exactly how large the context window will be here. We should have that pretty soon out. And that is going to hopefully be the one that breaks the barrier. And I can move on to some tougher question sets. Uh, we've been waiting on question set two for a while now. And I know some people have commented on that. I'm going to address that here. Now, I know a lot of people have said, you're still doing the silly tests, you're counting letters and so on. Are you, you're, you're so 2024. Somebody said that this is a frequent comment. And so I wanted to take time to address this. So I, I view it as you complete all all 100% of the tests, and that is 10 of 10, that when that score is achieved, we'll move on to test rubric two, which has been developed for months now. And I will tell you, it's much harder. All models have to be using that moving forward after one of them breaks through. This is a race to AGI, is it not? Garage AGI, especially. So I, I, I do want to let people know, yes, I do hear you and your concerns about, you know, it can't spell peppermint, let me also say it's shocking and it's also good that somebody's out there pointing out that it can't spell peppermint. That's not a problem. There's a lot of people making a lot of statements. Oh, that's just the nature of it. No, no, no. Uh, Gemma 3 is not going to mess that up. So go play with Gemma 3, 27B. Yeah, there's a bar that is set by models and there is reasons that I'm running the testing the way I'm running the testing. And as I've said multiple times, every test, we will get to that next set. And I am thinking of just having test be a different category of kind of videos and just playing around in fun being a different set of videos. I think most of what you see on YouTube is playing around in fun and people just having fun. They're adapting the latest, coolest thing that they saw, PJ, P5JS or something like that, 3JS from what they see on X and then they come over and post it here and like, ah, uh, and like, I get that. That's fun. And maybe there's some of that that I try to bring in, but the, the actual core testing, which is, 
when are we going to get to garage AGI is going to stay the same. And I'm not going to alter that for anybody. So it may not fit what some people want to hear. And this may fit actually a lot of people. This is why I do it this way. I think this actually is important to do for a lot of people so that they understand, hey, we really are at still about a 9.5 is the best that we've seen so far, a 9.5 out of 10 on generic chat. Technically, a fail. So it would be reasonable to say nine out of 10, but it was very close. So only when those 10 are completed sequentially, will we move on to the second set of questions and they are harder questions and we will see scores drop. I will not do retroactive testing. I will only move testing forward. I mean, I'm a small person. I'm not, I guess I have an AI lab if you want to look at it that way, but honestly, I'm a small, 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 small person that does small testing. I have team of me. So like, what am I going to do? How am I going to scale that out to be like a gigantic operation? Solidified on the Z440, which is kind of going to be the mid range, lower mid range build. And that is going to come in at about $750. It's going to feature two 3060 TIs. And that video is out this week. So that is actually a really good machine that gets 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And especially with something like Quinn three coming out, that's an amazing thing that you really want to be able to have 24 gigabytes of VRAM for. Granted, we'll see performance degradation because you're only running at the speed of a single processor on it, but still you're going to have the ability to run it, which is great. And VRAM is still king in every instance and getting VRAM is still the most important thing out there. So, Quick update on everything, a little bit different of a format. So if you're here for news, that's great. This is going to be a little bit more of a talking news updatey, play it in the background capable uh, piece instead of having to watch along or a tutorial or something like that. I'm probably going to have a very consistent thumbnail also in the future. So you can look for a very consistent thumbnail so that I can do these and release them really quick. And that way I can get out information to you much more relevant, much faster. And also at the same time, now I have to spend a ton of time producing content and especially the content that I produce, you know, that's interactive tutorials, a lot of hands on stuff that does take time. I think we're going to see Quinn three in the next day, day and a half here, probably. And you can bet this channel will have that ready for you as soon as I can get it running. God, I hope I can get into that hugging face repo. Fingers crossed. Check you guys next time.